I decided to do this video because a lot of people ask me about uh, the QR code. What it is, why I did a page with a QR code, and they wanted to know really the, how the QR code could be applied to a normal life. So first of all, let's talk about the QR code. Uh, sorry, I, I just put something, something in writing. QR code is a matrix code or a two-dimensional barcode that was created in 1994 by the Wave. It's a Japanese company. But it's, a, it's, a, it's free, it can be used. And QR code is a, it's a most important, it's fast and reliable. Uh, the QR code may contain a URL up to 4,000 characters. So can you imagine a URL that is uh, very long, just put it into a small square. And binary, binary up to 3K. So for instance, a, a GIF file or a JPEG can be converted in QR code, faxed to somebody, and this one can just scan with a cellular telephone. But I will explain you this, how it works. It's uh, very important to know that it can be scanned with a, a normal scanner or with a telephone, can be faxed. And uh, one application, for instance, can be that um, product in supermarket may have a QR code on them uh, with, into the QR code, the URL address of a web page with up-to-date information about that product. So imagine yourself going to a supermarket, taking a box of a product, having on it a QR code, and with your telephone, just scan it and read on the web page online all the news, uh, all the latest up-to-date information of that product. But now let's go a bit deeper into the demonstration and how this is going to work. I have here a normal Nokia telephone. I have downloaded the reader from a website. It's called reader at kaiwa.com. And you just download and uh, transfer it to your mobile telephone. And uh, that's it. So we'll go now into the reader Kaiwa application. I go to my website and if I want I can just go and scan for instance the QR code for that page. Boom! And I have it. www.fatimia.com At the same time you see another QR code a bit bigger here. This one is an embedded SMS. So this SMS has a telephone number and has a test code that will come, uh, will be sent to me. So if I go and scan, automatically the telephone will understand that it is an SMS. I will, it will put my number and then a text that says, thanks, I have created the SMS via QR code. This is really incredible. At the same time, I have created a, um, a page called SMS. I did that uh, with the use of PHP and uh, Xiax, so the Web2 technology for PHP, where you can just put uh, a telephone number. I will put a, a number that is uh, uh, my number, 17332... Um, and a text. This is a text. No, sorry. This is a text. So I just put the, my phone number and the SMS uh, message that, that is, this is a text. I now go and generate the QR code and the QR code automatically is generated. The page is not refreshed, of course, because I use Xiax as a new technology for, for, uh, for Web2. I will go there with my telephone and as soon as this is interpreted, an SMS is created and my telephone number that I have put it on the top will come on my telephone and this is a text. I just now have to go, click send and the SMS is sent. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for listening. Marcello Di Pietro from Fattimie.com. Thank you.